G'day guys, Pete here from Ace Creative. Thank you so much for joining me again. And what a, an adventure we have been on recently. I did a video a few weeks ago with the Carl Zeiss 58mm F2 lens. I took that to Noosa National Park with my friend and spiritual mentor, the doctor, and you guys really enjoyed that video. Just a side note, I bought that camera, as I said, for $5. I sold the body for $20 and sold the lens for $70, so that uh, clicks to me uh, for a, such a terrible lens. But on that particular adventure, I also took this camera, my Minolta SR505, which has actually been my point and shoot camera of choice recently. I use a 50mm 1.8, a fairly standard kit lens on that, and I've, I've really been enjoying it. So this certainly isn't going to be a review of this particular Minolta, uh, although I, I do want to attest to it because I think it's really quite good. I just wanted to walk through Noosa National Park once again with you guys, uh, using some more of the footage I took and go through the photos. You know, one of the reasons I love film as these photos are rolling through is just, um, is the colours and I love big colours. I've been in, really enjoying it lately. I've been really enjoying photos from uh, places like California and Arizona, that kind of uh, Midwest kind of area, and obviously, you know, some of the West Coast um, types of places. It's just been speaking to me, the big colors. One of the YouTubers I really quite like, and uh, on YouTube, a fellow called Andrew, Andrew and Danae, if you guys ever watch this, big shout out to you because I get a lot of inspiration from your photos and certainly your reviews. And, uh, I love that you guys use Fujifilm as well. But they've been taking some photos, or he's been taking some photos of uh, just big sky landscapes, which I love. Big bold blues and big, uh, really simple compositions. And that's what I really tried to do um, with this particular adventure with this camera. I used some Ultramax 400. So this really isn't a review of sorts, it's more just an adventure. Noosa National Park is maybe two hours from where I live. And it's such a beautiful spot. Lovely, lovely, lovely blue um, water, quite azure sometimes. Uh, and then the the, uh, the national park is just lovely. There's pandanus um, palms just littering through the place, certainly on the beach. Uh, little sheltered coves, windswept headlands. The path um, arches around to a place called Hell's Kitchen, which is a uh, you know a rock inlet. Uh, and it's just beautiful. I mean, it's just so lovely to be there. So uh, come for a walk with me guys, as, as you already are, just enjoying the sights and sounds. I was very thankful that even though the, um, on the other video I did, the lens mount broke and I wasn't able to take too many digitals, I certainly haven't had any issues with this Minolta. In fact, I'm uh, very, very, very impressed with it. It's in such good condition. There really isn't a single scratch on it. Maybe it'll pick that up. We'll see, we'll find out when I look at the video later. So guys, I, um, I think I'm at a crossroads with my videos. My Fujifilm videos certainly seem to do a lot better. Uh, and I try and do a different video with a different um, vintage lens. And I've got a few lenses left, although I don't want to fork out dollars on lenses just to do reviews on them. Um, but I do enjoy it and, and it seems to be getting a lot of traction. Uh, I, I enjoy doing film and I've started self-developing black and white film, which has been an utter disaster. And I'll do a video about that fairly shortly, I'm sure. I, anyway, more, more of that to come. So I don't know what, what direction you guys think I should take. Should I branch out more into film photography, which I quite enjoy, uh, or should I continue doing what seems to be working well with the old YouTube algorithm? I don't know, I, I want your thoughts. I mean, the proof, the numbers tell me I should stick with the Fuji film, but uh, I always wanted this to be a creative scratch pad and do things that I enjoy doing, so I, I'm not too sure. Anyway guys, enough rambling for me. I hope you've enjoyed Noosa National Park as much as I enjoyed it. I, I always love it up there. It's, I always find new things to photograph and uh, such a beautiful spot. And I think it looks even better on film, even um, Ultramax 400, which really is um, classed as a fairly, uh, fairly budget range film. I, you know, I got that at Woolworths, so certainly not a in a kind of fancy film by any stretch of the imagination. So if you guys have got a favorite photo, let me know in the comments. If you think I should uh, veer towards the Fujifilm route or the, the film route or just do whatever I feel like, and let me know as well. I'm very keen to hear your thoughts. 
As always, guys, thanks for joining me. Love God, love others, and take time to listen.